Hi, I'm Paige, and welcome to the Manchester Community Library. As always, we have a lot of stuff going on, and I'm looking forward to telling you about it. First thing on the agenda, this Monday is the opening of the Jewish Film Festival that's going to be hosted here every Monday night for five consecutive weeks. The first uh, film that we are showing is Plan A. Now, Plan A is based on the incredible true story of the Avengers, a group of Jewish vigilantes, men and women, who after surviving the Holocaust are vowing to avenge the death of their people. An eye for any eye, a tooth for a tooth. Max, a Holocaust survivor, has lost all of his family in the camps. Full of rage and with nothing left to live for other than revenge, he helps the Jewish Brigade, soldiers under British command, to off the record find and execute Nazis accused of leading positions in the Nazi system. This is the first of five films that are part of the Jewish Film Festival this year. Uh, the event is open to the public. Everyone is welcome. The film will be running from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock on Monday evenings. So we look forward to seeing you there this week. This Tuesday, we have our special story time that we're running all summer with special guest readers for each of our story times. So at 10.30 this Tuesday, July 11th, join Jonathan and Thomas West as they read from their new book, A Kid's Guide to Gay Parents. This is 10.30 to 11.30 Tuesday morning. Uh, our story time, weather permitting, will be out under the tent. Also on Tuesday, July 11th, from 5.30 to 7, we have Gmall back in the building. Gmall this week's topic is, if the Trump presidency signaled the end of an era, what lies ahead? After 40 years of neoliberal politics and economic policy, are we about to turn a corner? Is the Reagan era coming to an end? If so, what might follow? Is Biden's unexpectedly progressive economic policy a harbinger of things to come, or merely the last gasp of New Deal thinking? So join us for this first part of a two-part lecture series with Steve Sinding covering the politics uh, and Peter Radford the economics uh, of this compelling topic. So registration on the Gmall website is $22 and you are welcome to find your tickets there. However, Gmall has graciously given to the library uh, 10 seats so if you for each of these events. So if you're interested in participating and uh, joining in this conversation, go to the library website where you can register in advance for your seat, free seat at the Gmall um, experience. Make sure you register uh, in advance and the seats are non-transferable. So think ahead. This Thursday, uh, I'm excited to introduce you to Renee, who is going to be coming in for our special art experience. Renee is going to be building fairy houses. So weather permitting, we may be out under the tent for this uh, adventure, but you're going to be in a craft section uh, session where participants use found objects to design and build their own fairy houses. There's some interesting stuff. Maybe you've got some uh, leaves or uh, things from around your garden you want to bring to incorporate into the design. By all means, go ahead and do that too. Looking forward to seeing you here this Thursday at 3.30, from 3.30 to 5, for Fairy Houses with Renee. Also on Thursday, July 13th, from 5 to 6 p.m., we have a very special event, and this is uh, a birthday party, but it's not your average birthday party. This is a birthday party for Luca, and Luca is a therapy dog. So we have um, a lot of evidence that has demonstrated that allowing children to read to dogs provides them with a... Uh, a, a level of uh, experience with reading that does not promote stress. Uh, and so the library has a wonderful canine uh, companion who wants to be read to. So we're going to be starting that program in the fall, but you can meet Luca this summer, in fact this Thursday, for his seventh birthday. So come help him celebrate. Also Thursday, the July 13th, from 5.30 to 7, we have a special uh, presentation happening in the Hunter Room. Uh, it's about the future of food and farming in Vermont, cows and climate change, the resurgence of local agriculture. Vermont's dairy farming, like most farming of all kinds nationally, has been gradually diminished due largely to technological advances and cheap energy. But the so-called green revolution of industrial agriculture has brought soil erosion, water depletion, and pollution poor treatment of animals, and a swirling mix of chemicals. Regenerative agriculture, including the important role of pasture-raised cows and other livestock, will do more to help the climate than renewable energy. Local agriculture also improves freshness, reduces energy use, and restores rural communities, and improves food security for all. This presentation is going to be led by John Clare, who is an attorney, farmer, and writer. His, he and his wife, Jackie, raise grass-fed beef and lamb in Brookfield, Vermont, where John's family have farmed for many generations. So please do come in on Thursday evening at 5.30, which should run until about 7, in order to be able to have this conversation about the future of farming in Vermont. 
On Saturday, July 15th, starting at 11 a.m., we have a very special uh, summer reading program experience. Uh, we are inviting VINS, uh, the Vermont Institute of Natural Science, to the library, and they are doing Raptors Inspiring Conservation. For hundreds of years, humans didn't understand the vital role that raptors play in our ecosystem. Some of our most charismatic birds, including the bald eagle and the peregrine falcon, wound up on the endangered species list, and today we know that a majority of bird species are in decline. So join us in learning how people banded together to save these magnificent animals and to meet some live birds who will help us tell these inspiring conservation stories. Best of all, learn what you can still do to help them thrive in the wild. So this is part of our uh, All Together Now Under the Tent this Saturday, starting at 11 o'clock. Come in to meet some of Vin's raptors. Also on Saturday, July 15th, from 5 to 7 p.m., we have the next installment of our summer music series. So summer music this week will be with Anything Goes. You can take a trip through musical Americana with Anything Goes and crisscross the American musical landscape and beyond with original arrangements steeped in traditional styles. This should be a fantastic evening. Uh, we will have uh, food for purchase out available from uh, local vendors, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody here. Meet you at the library.